Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited for today's video because I think a lot of you are going to find it very helpful. Ever since I started sharing my journey of decorating my apartment on TikTok, my comment section has slowly become a lot of people saying that they're really interested in color and they like how I used color, but that they're a little bit too scared to do it in their own space. So today I came up with some tips for you guys, some of which I learned in school and some that I just kind of came up with on my own because they make sense in my brain. And also I recommend recognize not everyone wants bold color in their spaces. Some people thrive a lot more with neutrals and a space that's more calming in that way. Um, this video is just for those who are interested in having these bright colors in their spaces but they don't know where to start. If you are not yet subscribed, make sure to do so. It's free and just hit the notification bell. That way you'll know whenever I post a new video on Sundays. And also if you are not following me on my other social medias, they are all here. So let's get on into some color tips. The first tip that I have is to utilize pops of color instead of filling a space with color. Color can become very overwhelming really, really quickly. Something that I like to do instead of painting an entire wall with a bold color is just pick a portion of that wall to paint with a bold color. As you can see behind me, I made kind of like this cube shape just to kind of zone the space with different colors. Sometimes if you paint a space floor to ceiling with a really intense color, it can feel very overwhelming and also make the room feel a lot smaller. I have been loving using colorful paint as a way to zone different spaces in my apartment. I've been doing arches, irregular shapes, circles, rectangles, everything you can imagine and it really helps to just separate the different areas especially if you're living in a small space like myself. Making these fun new shapes in your own space can be a really great way to play with the architecture and make your space feel a lot different architecturally. Also, it's amazing if you already have unique architecture in your home, if you already have an indented arch, if you already have any sort of divot in your wall, it would be really cool to paint that a different color and just kind of bring the focus to it. I just love irregular architecture and I feel like it's the most exciting part of any home, so definitely something to think about. My next tip is to utilize contrast. And contrast is a really big factor when it comes to adding pops of color in your space. If there's no contrast, then there's no pop. <laughs> So what I like to do is actually have some white walls in my space and that way the color can really stand out against it. But there's so many different ways that you could do this as well. Contrast goes beyond just paint colors though. So it goes into all of your different decor elements. So something to consider as well is, for example, if you have a dark blue accent wall, probably not the best idea to put black furniture in front of it because there's not that contrast there. Typically not that appealing to the eye. So if you have a dark blue accent wall, think about light woods, warm toned woods, or even gold accents against it would really help to make the space a lot more visually appealing. <laughs> My next tip that I think is really fun is to consider fashion. So a lot of people might not necessarily be comfortable describing their interior design style yet, but they're very comfortable with describing their fashion sense. And fashion and interior design are one and the same. They're always feeding off of each other with trends as well. Fashion gets different trends from interior design and vice versa. They're always hand in hand. So if you really like this one colorful outfit, kind of look at it and think, why do I like that? And how could that translate into a space? Like if you love the geometric aspect of it, if you love those specific colors being paired together, how can you then translate that into a physical space? And that will really just ensure that you love the style of the space that you're in. And it really helps to inspire you to dress the certain way that you want or be the kind of person that you want to be. Um, spaces are just so important in mental health and all of those different things. <laughs> A great place to start if you're still learning how to understand color in your space is getting to know the color wheel. And the color wheel will really help you pick out different colors for your space and know what goes well together. A general rule of thumb when you're looking at the color wheel is if the colors are opposite of each other on the wheel, then that probably means they look really good together. That's probably why you see a lot of people use blues and yellows or orange and green together, um, just because they complement each other really nice. I personally have an obsession with 
triad color combinations from the color wheel. I just love them so much. I feel like they're a great way to bring a whole lot of different variations of color into your space, like the primary colors, a little bit offset of the primary colors. I just love triad color schemes. So a lot of the designs that I do for myself, you'll probably notice have a triad color scheme. Another really important thing to consider is the difference between warm and cool tones and how there is a color psychology behind these colors and how they can affect you differently mentally. So everyone needs something a little bit different. For me, I am obsessed with warm tones. I use my space as a way to keep me motivated, keep me cozy and comfy at the same time, and also just making me feel a little bit warm and happy inside. I find my happiness in warm things, um, so I like to use warm tone colors in my space. So if you don't necessarily know what color you think would be best for you in your space, something you might benefit from is actually looking up color psychology because each color is just scientifically proven to aid in different things like yellow can make you feel more hungry or also make you feel more excited, more energetic, like every color is different. Another thing that I kind of created in my own brain is something called the no touching rule. And this is if you want a bunch of funky colors in your space, but they don't necessarily all go with each other. As long as they're not touching, then it's fine. <laughs> Let's say that your throw pillows really clash with your wall color, um, but your couch is in between those two elements and it is complementary to both of those different colors, then it's fine. <laughs> in my opinion, you can add a lot more color to your space that typically wouldn't match with each other if they're not touching. I definitely think it's a hack to add a lot more color into your space that typically wouldn't go well together because if those clashing colors are touching each other, that's when it starts to look not so good, if that makes any sense. So just kind of look at the color wheel, look at the different elements that you have and try to arrange them in a way that is complementary. <laughs> And for my last tip, which is also something that I just kind of came up with in my brain, <laughs> is to use colors more than once. So let's say you have a really bold accent wall color and then that color doesn't show up anywhere else in your space. The space won't really feel balanced and it'll feel really polarizing and your eye will only go to that wall. Um, so something that I like to do is to keep a color in multiple different aspects of my space. An example of this is that I have a blue arch in my living room and then also that same color blue on my carpet. Or another example is that I have this green couch and I also painted the same green color on the opposite wall just to kind of pull the color throughout the space. And then I also have these bright yellow bar stools. And so I painted a yellow circle across from them. And I also got a yellow couch just to kind of pull that yellow color into three different areas in the space. Bonus points if it is spread out throughout the space. It'll just really help to make your space feel really harmonized, really designed, really thought through, and just a lot better. So those are all of the tips and tricks for color that I have for you guys today. Make sure to comment down below any questions you have. I would be happy to answer them. And also give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. Here are all of the other places that you can find me for more design content. And I will see you all next Sunday for a brand new video. Bye guys.